In Blade Slinger, you you play as a hero who's come home after years away at war. He comes home to find someone or something has corrupted everyone in the town, and so you're on a chase basically to find out what's happened and cure the town of this corruption. Shadowgun is third-person shooter. You play bounty hunter. You will shoot a lot of mutants, explore highly detailed environments, and even solve logical puzzles. Riptide GP is a futuristic jet ski racing game. All of the jet skis in the game leave realistic wakes behind them so that when you're going around corners and you're in the chop behind the other racers, you can really feel yourself bouncing up and down in those wakes. On Tegra 3, we've added a number of enhancements for Riptide GP. One of the biggest enhancements that people will notice right away is that the frame rate is a lot higher and a lot more smooth. We have a lot of pretty complicated physics simulation going on with the water, and so the, uh, the Ford CPUs in the Tegra 3 is able to handle that a lot better. We've added a camera splash effect. You get little splashes of droplets on the screen that kind of run realistically off of the camera as you're going forward. We've also added a motion blur effect for boosting, and it really makes it feel like you're going fast. When we started to develop Shadow Gun, we were concerned about what technology can empower such graphical demanding application, and Tegra 3 proved to be perfect match. For Tegra 3 version, we have more GPU power, so we added per pixel specular highlights, which adds a lot of detail to the scenes. On multiple CPUs, we can generate uh, animated textures, do uh, damage effect, aging effect, weathering effects that will uh, improve the gaming experience. Other thing the gamers will obviously notice is the increase in the frame rate because it will run 60 frames per second. We aim at 60 frames per second and it's locked down at 30 frames per second on all other Android devices. And all this is generated using the additional CPUs of Tegra 3 and it is, this is the kind of thing that are impossible to do if you don't have additional CPUs. So the Tegra 3 has been wonderful for us because, I mean, Blade Slinger already pushes the envelope in the visual front for mobile devices alone. The multi-core system in Tegra allows us to push that even further. So we're able to get away with things like cloth simulation, advanced light systems, uh, ragdoll physics, more enemies on screen. The possibilities are endless. So from a design standpoint, it really opens the doors for us. We, we can blue sky as though we were designing for the latest generation consoles. Blade Slinger on Tegra 3 will be the most visually impressive, immersive game available on mobile devices. Shadowgun on Tegra 3 will look more beautiful and more engaging than on any other mobile device. Riptide GP on Tegra 3 is the best jet ski racing game on any mobile platform. Yeah.